In a world where artificial intelligence, autonomous machines and robotic systems are becoming not just assistants, but key elements of strategic superiority, ICRA 2025 evolved into something far more than just a technological event. It became a true showcase battle of minds, capital, and ambition, where the United States and China faced off, not on a battlefield, but at the heart of the robotics revolution. International Conference on Robotics and Automation is one of the most prestigious events in the world of robotic industry. While it was once a platform for the exchange of ideas and scientific discoveries, today it has also become a geopolitical arena. Against the backdrop of intensifying technological rivalry between the United States and China, every booth, every presentation, every demonstration of new robots and AI algorithms took on dual significance. Here technology is not just innovation, it is a tool of influence. This year, ICRA 2025 set a new record for participation in prototype demonstrations. More than 7,000 engineers, scientists, and corporate representatives from 50 countries gathered in Chicago to show the world what they are capable of. But everyone understood. The real showdown was between the American and Chinese booths. The United States showcased a strategy based on the symbiosis of academic research, startups, and military investments. A vast array of developments presented by MIT, Stanford, Boston Dynamics, NVIDIA, and DARPA demonstrated high levels of autonomy, adaptability, and the use of next-generation neural networks. From a new class of humanoids to AI, capable of real-time learning during task execution, everything seemed to confirm U.S. technological leadership. Among the highlights were breakthroughs in tactile AI, adaptive motor control, and neural interfaces. Robots with human comparable reflexes were demonstrated, along with mobile platforms capable of rapid self-learning in unfamiliar environments, from warehouses to combat zones. Yet despite the scale and impact of the American exhibits, China not only held its ground, it advanced with confidence. Chinese delegations represented by tech giants like Huawei and DJI, as well as aggressively growing firms like Unitree, Fourier Intelligence and Cloud Mines, brought dozens of solutions rivaling their American counterparts. Moreover, in several areas, particularly in mass production of robots, autonomous logistics and industrial AI, China appeared to have a clear lead. While American companies focus on scientific breakthroughs, China operates with scale and pragmatism, emphasizing mass integration, cost reduction, and the export of robots to dozens of countries. Their focus on versatile yet affordable humanoids, autonomous drones for agriculture, security, and logistics makes China's strategy especially formidable. This is not a battle of ideas, it is a battle for the market. The United States feels this pressure, and in that context, ICRA 2025 became a chance to defend its leadership. Special attention was given to ethics and AI regulation. The U.S. actively promoted the model of responsible AI in contrast to the Chinese approach, which prioritizes efficiency, even at the expense of transparency or ethics. In this regard, the exhibition also became an arena for ideological competition. The U.S. understands that being the best in laboratories is not enough. They must also win in factories, on the streets and in conflict zones. They must answer China's challenge, not only with innovation, but with scale. A unique technological event recently took place in China, already being called a historic milestone in robotics development. Unitree Robotics hosted the world's first public boxing match between bipedal robotic humanoids. The event drew widespread attention not only from scientific and engineering circles, but also from military analysts, tech investors, and representatives of the defense industry. Behind the spectacle of the show lies a much deeper strategic message, a demonstration of China's readiness to advance into a new era of autonomous machines and combat-capable robotic platforms. The robots participating in the match were built using Unitree's latest breakthroughs in dynamic motor control, balance algorithms, computer vision, and neural network-based motion planning. Each robot was equipped with a suite of sensors, gyroscopes, lidars, and cameras, allowing them to attack and defend in real time while predicting opponent movements through artificial intelligence models trained on hundreds of hours of sparring simulations. Crucially, the robots did not follow a pre-programmed routine. They adapted to the evolving situation, displaying elements of strategic thinking and behavioral autonomy. While such events may appear purely entertaining at first glance, they are in fact proving grounds for the combat and security systems of the future. China's robotic strategy is increasingly moving beyond the laboratory phase and into applied deployment, 
from industrial platforms and logistics robots to autonomous combat units. In the context of growing technological rivalry with the United States, these demonstrations serve multiple purposes, from technical validation to a political signal of readiness to dominate key high-tech sectors. For Unitry, this match was a confirmation of its leadership in advanced motor control and low-cost humanoid production. The company is betting on mass robotization and is actively developing modular platforms capable of adapting to a wide range of tasks, from physical security to search and rescue. The match was just one part of a broader program involving the development of robots trained to operate in real conflict scenarios, including group tactics, navigation in confined spaces, and integration with external command systems. A new humanoid robot named Xerath has been introduced by the Chinese company Xerath Technology. This next-generation wheeled humanoid robot is designed for service in real commercial environments, such as hotels, restaurants, and domestic spaces. Its primary role is to carry out tasks in quasi-household scenarios, preparing areas, assisting guests, cleaning, organizing objects, and interacting with people. Xerath H1 operates in tandem with the base control model Xerath V0, an intelligent system that provides the robot with a high level of adaptability and precision. The architecture of Xerath V0 is built on the principle of perception plus behavior. The robot first analyzes the space, identifies key objects, constructs a contextual map of the scene, and then makes optimal decisions based on an action layer model. This enables it to work efficiently on specialized tasks such as setting tables, transporting dishes, sorting laundry or preparing cleaning zones. The world-renowned company Boston Dynamics has showcased a major breakthrough in autonomous behavior by demonstrating the impressive perceptual and adaptive capabilities of its humanoid robot named Atlas. In a recent demonstration, the robot confidently navigates its environment using its own machine vision system, which includes a color camera and a depth sensor. These components allow it to construct a three-dimensional model of its surroundings, determine the shape, size, and position of objects, and make well-reasoned decisions in real time without external control. Atlas is given only a high-level task, such as moving specific objects from one place to another, and autonomously determines where the targets are, how to approach them, how to grasp them properly, and where to safely relocate them. It is capable of reacting flexibly to changing conditions, recalculating its trajectory if something is out of place, and demonstrating confident adaptation to unpredictable situations. Japanese engineers from the University of Tokyo have developed a unique robot called Spider, which is capable of both walking on the ground and flying, using the same propellers for both modes of locomotion. The robot features four legs, each equipped with four vectorizable propellers. These propellers not only provide lift and aerial movement, but also replace traditional electric motors in the joints, enabling the robot to move its legs while walking. The body of Spider consists of eight segments with 16 joints, housing eight batteries inside. The robot weighs approximately 15 kilograms and can remain airborne for up to 9 minutes, while it can operate on the ground for up to 18 minutes. During walking the propellers generate thrust to help overcome gravity, as the built-in servo motors are not powerful enough to support the full weight of the structure on their own. <laughs>